Hello everyone. I'm back with you again with another recipe. And this time, because it's so close to Christmas, I am doing an eggnog recipe. Now generally, for eggnog, all you need is some milk, some eggs, vanilla, and nutmeg. It's pretty simple. But today I'm doing the cooked one because generally I just put it together, mix it up, and we have eggnog. But um, if, especially if you're doing it for kids, a couple of years ago I did an, uh, one for my, well, my grandkids had some, one of my grandkids, and she felt sick. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it cooked. It's not really cooked, but we're going to bring up everything to the temperature where you, um, you know, it kills all the bacteria. It's best to do it this way, especially if you're giving it to, you know, to younger kids. All right, or anyone. So I am going to start the process. And this, and this is for Shoya because she asked me to make eggnog or, or an eggnog recipe. Shoya also have her own channel. I think it's called Shoya Fantastic Life. Anyway, I'm, I'll put a link down below this video. Shoya this one's for you my dear <laughs> thanks for watching and subscribing to my channel you won't see my face in the rest of the video just my voice all right but i plan that when i do videos now i'm going to start off talking to you and then you see my hands all right so in <laughs> yeah, this right. bowl i have six eggs um egg the yellow i separated it and here's the the we call it the white in this pot i have um, a cup and a half of a cup of milk and a half cup of um, half and half. You could. I also added about a, a tablespoon of sugar. It's gonna need more, so I'll add more later when we take it off the fire. We also have nutmeg. I just grate some nutmeg here. I I don't measure nutmeg. You just put some in there, you know. And I have um, a teaspoon of vanilla, but you could put more. All right, um, so we'll con we'll, I'm going to put this, the, the milk on the fire, so it comes to almost boiling. Don't let it boil too much because then we're going to add it to the egg. Now, as I said, there's two ways to make eggnog. You could make it a boiled or you could make it the raw. Today I'm choosing boiled. I always make raw, but I'm choosing boiled because of the kids and I don't want... Um, them to get salmonella you know you can get salmonella from raw eggs so i'll put the pot on the fire when it's almost boiling i'll come back and continue the process so in the meantime i'm gonna whisk up this these eggs here whisk them until they're come together just whisk them and you whisk them until the light changes. Here color. you have the egg, and it's like a little lighter than it was, the yellow that is. So now I'm going to be pouring in a little milk at a time. Not a lot. The milk is almost boiling. You can see steam, possibly. Anyway, I'm going to add a little milk at a time to, to the egg, and then stir. I don't want to cook the eggs, because then I don't want scrambled eggs. So... Just add it a little at a time, and then we're going to stir. Stir. A little more. And stir. And we're going to continue adding. So I'm finished adding all the milk. And we're going to pour it. I'm going to pour it back in the pot. And I'm going to put it on the fire. Because we're cooking it. We don't want, um, as I said, salmonella. So I'm putting it back on the fire. And um, we're going to stir, slowly stir it. Don't leave it. Slowly stir it while it, um, it's already warm. And we want to get this up to 160 degrees temperature. 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So see, I have my thermometer here. And um, they say 160 to 180 is when you know you won't get salmonella and so as you can see you. the egg so, mixture has come together it's thickened and it's coating the back of a spoon that's what you want i'll back it up to 160 degrees and it's coating the back of the spoon so now what i'm going to do 
is strain it because any little lumps or anything you want to get that out of there so i'm straining oops yeah i'm straining it to get any little lumps that might have formed in the bottom one thing i have to say to you you must keep constantly stirring the mixture don't leave it by itself because then it will it look like you know come out like very fine um uh, scrambled eggs so just um stir it get rid of uh, i mean uh, strain it now get rid of anything that's left and now we're gonna add all the i've already stuff. grated some nutmeg I need a good amount, um, so we're gonna sprinkle that in. We're gonna add the liquor. <laughs> so, and I'm putting a little vanilla in that, and I'm gonna add the booze. Now you could use brandy, cognac, anything you want. Um, there's all kind of liquor, but I am using our Jamaican white rum. Ah, <laughs> okay, the whites. I am going to put it in the glass by itself anyway because uh, my grandkids will, will drink some of this and I don't want them drinking liquor. <laughs> but if you're not making it for kids, just go ahead and... Um... Man, this looks good. Really good. Alright, so, see? I don't know if you can see it close up here, but it has all the nutmeg in it and it smells so good. So I'm going to um, pour them out in some glass. Here's something and, and you I'll can do, you especially if you're giving it to kids. But, you know, us adults also like uh, the good stuff. So I've smeared a little of the eggnog around this glass. And I crushed up some candy cane that I had here uh, in the food processor. And uh, make them, you know, some big, some small. And just dip the glass in it. Just dip the glass in it, stir it around and let it pick up some of the some of the <laughs> some of the, the candy cane so now I'm going to pour some of this deliciousness into the glass pour some of the the eggnog into the glass alright and um, just adding a little bit more a little bit of rum to mine. Don't forget to serve this with a little crushed ice. Okay? Don't forget to serve ice. I put some ice in here. I forgot to mention before. But serve with crushed ice. It's delicious. And you can never have enough of it. <laughs> Not unless you get drunk with some liquor. <laughs> See you. Bye.